Dear True Psychic Tales magazine, it's me again, Rasputin Aquato. I know I write a lot and you haven't printed any of my True Psychic submissions so far, but this one's different. This one's true. I just helped rescue Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, and father of Lily Zanotto, my girlfriend. Although the term is still very fresh and might need fact checking before we go to print. There was a kiss, but okay. I'm already getting off track. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up in the circus, the Aquato Family Circus, a ragtag little caravan of acrobats run by my parents. We were taught all our lives to hate and fear psychics, or fortune tellers as we knew them, all because of some old thing where they cursed the Aquatos to die in water. Problem is, I am psychic. I have been all my life. I hid my powers from my family practicing them in secret until one fateful night. After a show, a mysterious stranger handed me a brochure for Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, a training facility for psychic kids operated by the International Espionage Agency we all know as bum, 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 the Psychonauts. I ran away from home that night. When I got to Whispering Rock, I blended in seamlessly with the other campers. Superstar secret agent Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello taught me levitation and psi blast. I learned pyro and telekinesis from Ford Crawler himself. He was all over camp, literally all over, due to his ability to teleport. He even took up psychic residence in my head, which I could prove to you if you had a piece of bacon. Needless to say, things were going great. The one little catch was that the head coach of the camp was stealing campers' brains and putting them inside armored death tanks that I guess he was gonna use to take over the world or something. I went into his mind and found out he just had some issues with his father. I mean, who doesn't, right? Now he's okay. Not great, but okay. Just as Ford Kreller was making me an honorary psychonaut for all my hard work, word came in that Truman Zanotto had been kidnapped. So my fellow psychonauts and I jumped in a jet and set out to find him. Our search led us to an abandoned underwater outpost of the psychonauts in a dangerous part of the ocean known as the Rhombus of Ruin. We found Truman there, held captive by Dr. Lobato, unlicensed dentist and amateur brain surgeon. We freed Grand Head Zanotto, but he's got Silerium poisoning and can't tell us what happened. We know Lobato wasn't acting alone, but he won't tell us who hired him to kidnap Truman. Agent Nine has an idea how to get the information, using an elaborate psychic construction implanted in Lobato's mind. It's risky, but that's just a way of life when you're a psychonaut. If I don't make it back, I really hope you consider publishing my letter. And also, please consider the sample layout and illustrations I included. Well, I better get my head in the right place. The mission is about to begin. <laughs>